Hello, my name is Wojtek and today I want to talk about a vegetation in Godot 3.1, especially a grass. So as we know, right now in 3D part of Godot engine, there is no built-in vegetation module. We can also say that there aren't many plugins designed to create realistic scenarios. Godot lacks many powerful features like, for example, a volumetric lightning, so it's not easy to achieve a real-world illusion. But with a simple trick, we can make it look good in a low poly style. So, in the first part of the video, I want to show you a simple plugin which makes a grass creation a piece of cake. Later, I will try to teach you how to make it yourself. Ok, so firstly, we need to enable those two plugins. You can find them in the video description. So, go to the project preferences and set status as active. Then go and create in a root node a new low poly terrain hate map. As you can see, there is an empty plane on the scene. Let's give it some bumps. So, select your hate map and drag it over to plugin parameters. Nothing really changed. Hmm, maybe the terrain is just too small. Let's increase it. OK, so it's working as expected. Let's give it more bumps and increase max height to, for example, 15. OK, let's also decrease detail size. Now we need a second node. Search for fast for grass selective. Or just grass, if you have another one, please share it with me. So set it to parent, as parent, uh, of our height map based terrain. And let's modify its parameters. We need to set selective grass texture. Red means grass, black means empty space. For example, a road or a river. And we can see the effect. Let's play with some of the parameters. We can change the pattern texture, which just uh, say where is each of every grain of grass located. The plugin comes with this one. And we can change full scale for a denser grass. We can change the length of our grass with a full length parameter. We can also give a simple wind, um, like that. And we can simulate a gravity. And for the grass, I like to set it to negative values. OK. And uh, we can also change the shape of our fur, so it can look more different. And what else we have? OK, yeah, you, if you want a custom material on your node, you need to set up this parameter. And also, if you want to have a better looking grass, you can change the number of layers. And then, and when you increase the um, grass length, it looks really, really nice again. OK, I think that's all about the plugin. Let's have a look how it works. So for this, I created simple scene and created a plane mesh. OK, and here we have a plane. Let's increase its size and let's move it up. OK, now we need to create a material for our plane. So we go to the um, material node, select new spatial material, and let's set it color. I think it doesn't really matter, but we can set it as a light green. OK, and we need to add a next pass material, another special material. OK, and uh, here, we can set a uh, few, uh, few important flags. Uh, for firstly, we need to give it a grow, for example, 0.4. OK, I think that's good. And we need a texture for our albedo. We use this one again from the plugin. OK. And we need to set up a transparency flag. And now it's looking more OK. OK. And next, maybe maybe it's too big. Let's decrease it to 0.2. OK, so we need to add a next 
pass material, another special material, the same as the previous one. So let's give it again an uh, parameters and grow. This time it should be uh, bigger. So let's set it to 0.4 and we need to set up a transparency flag. Okay, and le lastly, albedo. So we paste our texture again and voila, we have a uh, beautiful grass, okay, so maybe <laughs> two layers is a little bit too, too small, but you get an idea how does this work. I hope so. And as a bonus, this is my attempt to create more realistic grass for a Zion hate map plugin. Let me know what you think about this kind of video. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. Cheers!